Hey guys, so today we're gonna do a all kilo situation on a BMW a 6 series. It's a 2005. Um, it's gonna use a class 2 system, but the same uh, process will be for the class 3. Uh, we're gonna use the Autel uh, 508 with the XP400 to do this job. Uh, super easy, takes just a couple seconds. All right, you're gonna go to the BMW. After you go to BMW, you're just gonna press the smart selection. It's gonna diagnose the system. Make sure when you do that, you just wanna have uh, the blinkers on. They're located right here. So just have them on. You don't need to have any key. Even if it's an added key, you just do it the same way. So as you can see, it tells us that it's a CAS2 system. We're just gonna hit OK, whatever it said. And then we're just gonna do, we're gonna go to key learning. This is a very helpful information. Um, if you're gonna see here, it's gonna see key mechanical code um, and BMWs, the five uh, last digits. If you take down the last one, which means the four uh, last digits without the last last one it's basically will be one seven six zero to cut the mechanical key for the customer you're gonna just hit ok um, after that you're just gonna have a key I'm gonna place already the key inside the coil just like that facing down um, I'm gonna hit ok um, I'm gonna hit ok I'm gonna hit OK. And just like that, look how couple seconds. Uh, it's gonna get the key information. Of course, make sure you are connected to the internet. You see, key information read success. Press yes. You can save it if you want. And then you get the slot. So I will just use a slot that that's not been used. Um, I'm gonna take uh, nine, and I'm gonna set pro, uh, programmer generation key. Now make sure the key is in the slot of the XP400, and just press that. In this case, it's not a smart key; it's a semi-smart key, which means uh, the customer needs to put the uh, uh, key inside the ignition. Uh, please connect the device. It means the XP400. Uh, we're gonna hit yes and now it's been writing the key it's gonna make a nice noise and within a couple seconds job will be done key processing succeeded you press ok again it's gonna write the key into the system to put it on slot number eight and we're just gonna wait a couple more seconds and that's it the key should be working um, good thing to do is to take the key and in this case we will be putting it in the slot we're gonna take it out we're gonna put it in again and then we can try start the car. Start right away. I'm gonna shut the car off. And we can hear that the remote is working. And the trunk. And this is the working key, guys. Okay, so to cut the emergency blade, just to give a final good product, always a good thing, uh, especially when uh, you're talking about uh, old BMWs, the battery can die and the customer will not be able to go inside his car. Um, so it's very easy because we're getting from the cast uh, code. So which we're just gonna do, we're gonna go to all key lost. Just gonna put our code in. 
and remember the code was being 1760 and remember there was our 8 in the end but uh, we're not gonna put that 8 uh, because we like you see in the picture it shows you that you need to take the four last digits without the last one um, then you're just gonna go to it here the key will be in position number two in this case like it says here on B clamp B so make sure you put it on B guys if you're using the condor and you're just gonna hit cut key and that's it Light is all good. Fully done. Lock, unlock, trunk. And here you go, my friends. Thank you for watching.